Hey fellow subscribers and newcomers, in this video I'll discussing briefly about Podman and how to install it on your Windows machine. As always I'll add the links in the description. I'll briefly touch upon what is Podman and its features that make it a drop-in replacement or alternative to Docker Desktop. At the time of filming this video, the latest stable CLI version is 5.0.2 and GUI version is 1.9.1. I'm installing it on Windows 10 PC. So, further delay, let's jump right into the tutorial. Podman is open source tool developed by Red Hat to manage Open Container Initiative, OC, compliant containers and pods. Some of the noteworthy points includes the following. It is a daemonless container engine, meaning it does not require a persistent daemon process like Docker does. Podman runs containers in a rootless mode without requiring root slash admin privileges. Podman can be used to replace Docker on systems where the Docker daemon is not needed or desired. It provides a similar user experience and command line interface to Docker. It supports both containerized and pod-based workloads. Pods in Podman allow grouping and managing related containers together similar to Kubernetes pods. Podman uses OC compliant container and storage formats like Docker, so it can work with existing container images and storage. Images can be pulled from container registries. It provides features like container creation, starting, stopping, listing, removing, networking, storage, security, images, pods and more. It is considered more lightweight than Docker as it does not require running a persistent daemon. Uses Apache License 2.0 which means there are no restrictions on its usage. You can use it for personal, small, and large enterprises without paying subscription fees unlike Docker Desktop. It supports various extensions and you can install them to enhance the experience and ease of use. It works on Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. Next, we will download Podman Desktop and CLI version from the links in description. You will notice I didn't install the CLI version which will be covered in later section. Let's wait until the download is completed. I've unchecked sending telemetry data and will proceed with on-screen instructions. You can safely ignore the WSL1 version warning since I've WSL2 installed. Don't worry the installer will automatically update the WSL2 instance if needed. I'll also add manual update link that is, a MSI installer that will update the kernel and other components to latest version. We'll now install the command line version of Podman which is internally used by the GUI. Once it's installed, you can proceed to the next step of Podman desktop installer to initialize and start pods or containers. For some reason it is taking a long time and the containers are not created. Let's retry the creation of Podman machine and check the logs. Now we have come across a blocker that is error 125 which says the machine already exists. I've checked few resources in the background. 
Let's try out the fixes one by one until we can get Podman up and running. Let's open up command prompt or terminal with admin privileges. The first fix will be to unregister the machine symbolic link using WSL command. I'll just double check to manually remove the files you can skip this step. Now Let's retry the machine creation process once again and see it has fixed the issue. Now there is a conflict with existing connection. We'll remove it by copying the command suggested by Podman. It seems there is another network instance with root we'll remove it and retry the process. Finger crossed and hoping this will be fix the issue. Let me verify if files are correctly populated and looks fine to me. Finally, Podman is now installed. Now you can try out running existing Docker containers. Simply replace Docker commands with Podman and you can use existing Compose files to deploy your instances. Enjoy running your pods. Happy potting! We have reached the end of the video. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section, and if you found this helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Recently, I started writing a blog deployed using GetHub pages. I'll share the links. Thank you once again to all my subscribers and the community for your continued support.